Hey everyone. Now a while ago I made a video showing you how I made this Wi-Fi capture device which is basically a Raspberry Pi Zero W with a Wi-Fi adapter and a battery. And it works well, but if I do high data rate uh, Wi-Fi captures, it struggles because the Raspberry Pi Zero isn't that flash. Anyway, I've got some uh, Raspberry Pi 2 Ws which have a quad processor and a bit faster. Apparently a lot faster really. So all I'm going to do here is swap my old one for this one so I can do more high bandwidth captures if I need them. This, this serves its purpose pretty well. It captures what I need to see a lot of problems, but I can do better with this. So that's what I'm going to do. So you can see most of it's just the battery, but Raspberry Pi and adapter, I'll just get into it and uh, rip it out and show you what was in there. That's my UBU capture device. Raspberry Pi, wireless adapter, a couple of antennas and a battery. Better than anything you can buy. So all I'm really doing is swapping these two Raspberry Pis. They look the same, but they're not. All right, so this is where you all laugh at my soldering. I'll take the power, the okay, power that goes to the adapter. I'm trying to solder this and show you, but it's a bit hard. Anyway, the power for the Wi-Fi adapter is those two. And the USB, the onboard USB here, is these two. I took a photo of this so I can bloody get it right on the new one. There's that one and that one. So there's my Wi-Fi adapter. And the power that feeds it from the USB is these two here. So I just piss them off. Get out of here. And that should be there. Get out. Get out. Okay, power cable. Right, so there's the difference between the Raspberry Pi 0W and the Raspberry Pi 2W. So that one's getting shown the door. And this is the new and improved. Okay, the positive for this goes in the first one and the negative goes in the seventh one. They should just stick through to the other side. Maybe. I don't know if you can see that. I can hardly see it right here. Anyway, I'll try. Right, the positive goes in the first one, negative in the seventh one. I can hardly see it myself, so I don't know if you can, but I'll just poke them through. Yeah. That's not how you solder, but yeah, he's made a dog's breakfast of it, but you know. Now the other two are for the USB data. So this is the USB port here, and it's got those two little pads there for the data. If I can get to this. I've done it before, so I must be able to do it. There's one. There's two. Heat that up. Put that on there. Hold it for a sec. There's two. All right, now I've got to do the power, which is the next two. From the photo I just took of the old one two minutes ago. I still can't see. See what I'm doing. I really can't. Fuck. I can see it's not fantastic, but I can also see it's there. Okay, the wiring's done. Now put some heat shrink on this and I'll have to set up a new version of the operating system. So I'll do that next. Okay, so there's the main part done. The new Raspberry Pi and the Wi-Fi adapter. Now I've installed the basic stuff on here like um, the Raspberry Pi operating system and WireGuard to connect to it, which is what I do. But I'll go through the software part in an upcoming video. For now, I'm just gonna put this thing together and get it up and running. So this should be relatively easy because I've already kind of done this already. I'm just gonna cover this with this heat shrink. Just protect it a little bit before I put it over the battery. So I slip that in. Something like that. Just show it in there. And I'll shrink that down. All right, that's the gist of it. Memory card's in there, all set up. And I've just got to put it into the battery, which will have more heat shrink, and just slap it in there with the antennas down the side. Same as I did last time. Now, I went online and got some heat shrink, but I I got my sizes wrong and I've got some that's like buddy trouser size heat shrink, which is a bit excessive. This one actually 
might be good enough. So I don't know though. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. It's about twice as big as it has to be and I don't have any of the old stuff. So I'll check again, but <laughs> this might not work. We'll see what happens. I'm not even gonna try this because that's quite ridiculous. And that's a smaller one. So I'm gonna have to go to J car, which being the Saturday before Christmas is gonna kill me, but uh, that's where I got the last one from that just fits over there, so that'll be better. So time to hit the frog and toad, fuck. Well, I made it to J car and as expected, the traffic was a bit crazy, but I, I went the way that wasn't too bad. So anyway, here I am, I'm gonna get some uh, heat shrink. All right, I made it back, it's a bit later on now. So I've got the heat shrink, which you know just kind of fits in. And if like last time, this used to just fit in there. So I'll shrink that down and that'll be pretty much done. Done it once, and now I can do it again. Now I'll give you a quick preview with the software, but I'm gonna make a video on this next, showing all about this and how to set it up. But basically I've made a web interface so I can select the channels, pick which ones I wanna do, I can just say all 2.4 and 5, how long I wanna stay on each channel, and if I wanna split the capture file up or not by whatever times, I'll just do a quick demo and start capturing. Now down here for multi-adapter capture, this software is the same software for if I've got a Raspberry Pi 4 with a bunch of adapters, then I can select the, all the adapters if I want and combine them in one capture. But this is only gonna have one capture device, so that's that. Then I stop capturing and I can download that latest one. So there it is there, and that'll download. Then I can just open it straight up and get right into it. So that's how I do them. All right, so that's the device I use to do captures. It does uh, 2.4 gig, 5 gig, and 6 gig, up to 80 megahertz wide channels. And it's pretty cheap. It's a Raspberry Pi and a little $10 from AliExpress something adapter and a battery. That's it. Now, the next video is going to be the one where I'll go through the software and show you a bit more about the actual capturing. So that'll be more interesting than this one, but I had to do this first anyway. So anyway, that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.